Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt. To visit my channel, type www.youtube.com slash slide hunt. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to make your own header file. So let's get started. First you have to know what is header file. A header file is a file that contains C function declarations and macro definitions to be shared among several files and the extension of this file is .h. .h indicates header file. There are two types of header files. First one is the files that comes with your compiler or you can say it as building types. For example, stdi.h, conio.h, math.h, etc. These files are included in the source file using the preprocessor directives has include. And the file name must include within the angle brackets. I have already discussed preprocessor directives in my other videos, so I am not going to details here. To watch those videos, please check my video description. Other types of header files are user-defined header files. To include the user-defined header file, we use has include preprocessor and within the double quote write the file name. For example, here abc.h is a user-defined header file. Now see these two header files and find out the difference. In compiler-defined header file, you have to write the file name inside the angle bracket, but in case of user-defined header file, you have to write the file name inside the double quote. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create your own header file. But the question is, what is the need of it? There are two reasons. First one is, if we have a very large program, then it is best to divide the program into several different files each containing a set of related functions and these files are included at the beginning of the program using has include preprocessor. Second one is there are some functions and some macro definitions that we need almost in all programs that we write. So it is best practice to write this commonly needed functions and macro definition to a separate file and add it to the main program whenever we need it. So let's see how to create a header file and add it to the source program. First I'm gonna write the main program. This program will calculate the square of a number. So let's get started. This is my source file and I name this file source.c. At the top of the file we include a header file stdi.h using has include free processor. So what does it mean? It means including the content of stdi.h header file in this place and then compile the code. Ok now we write the main program. Inside the main I am gonna declare two integer type variables int n and result. Then I am going to ask Usa to enter a number. printf Please enter a number. Then we use scanf function to read the input number. Scanf person d and m person n. Then result equal to square of n. Here we call the function square and pass the input number n as argument. And return value is stored to the variable result. Ok, here we just call the function not define. We will define this function to a separate file. So let's see how to do that. Save this file. Now we open a new file. Go to file, new and then choose source file. Now save this file. One thing must be remember, the source file and the header file must be stored to the same folder. I stored my source file to the folder header, so I am gonna store this header file to the same location also. File, save as, header folder, choose here C source file, now choose a file name, let's say my header. 
and the extension of this file will be dot h dot h indicates header file save it now here we will define the square function the function will return an integer value so i'm gonna write here in square the square function takes an integer type parameter so i'm gonna write here int n Inside this function, I'm gonna write return n star n. Now save it. Let's back to our source file. This is our source file. Here we include the myheader.h file using has include free processor. Has include and within the double quote write the file name. That is myheader.h. This statement indicates the content of the file myheader.h will be included here and then code will compile. Now I'm gonna print the square printf square of person d is person d and here we refer in and result. Okay, let's run the program. Compile and run. Please enter a number. I'm going to enter 6. And it shows you square of 6 is 36. Okay, now I'm gonna say one important thing. When you write a header file, you should use conditional compilation statement. This is my header file, myheader.h. So I'm gonna write here has if not defined myheader. If myheader header file is not defined, then execute these statements. After executing these statements, we can say my header is defined. So I'm gonna write here has defined my header and then end of the if statement has end if. But why we use conditional compilation statement? We use to avoid the inclusion of same file more than one time. Let's see how it works. First, I'm gonna disable this statement. Save it. Now, I'm gonna create another header file. New source file. And I'm gonna name this file myheader1.h. Save it. In this file, I'm gonna include the previously created header file. Has include myheader.h save it now back to our source file here I'm gonna include myheader1.h header file has include myheader1.h okay let's run it compile and run you can see here it gives some error because square function is called here two times one for myheader.h and another for myheader1.h. To avoid this problem, we use conditional compilation statement. Go to myheader.h. Now I'm gonna enable this statement. Save it. So, how it works? When first time controls come here, it check this condition. If myheader.h header file is not defined, Yes, it is not defined. Then execute this statement. After executing this statement, control said my header is defined. And then end of the if statement. Next time when control comes here, first it check this condition. My header dot is not defined. No, this condition is false. Because my header dot h header file is already executed, so this condition is false and control skip these statements. So these statements executes only once. Back to our source program. Now run this program. Compile and run. As you can see here it gives no error. Please enter a number. I'm gonna enter 6. The square of 6 is 36. Let's run it again. This time I'm gonna enter 12. 
and square of 12 is 144. This is it. Hope you understand. If you like this video, please share it and click on the like button on YouTube. I'll be back with another tutorial. Till then, you take care and keep watching.